I was working on my hexapod when I noticed some strange vibration in two of the legs. Some small vibration is normal with these servos, but definitely not this much. After looking into it, I noticed that it is only happening to the coxa joints, which is strange because in this configuration coxa servos are under the least load compared to the other two. In fact, one popular way to save money on your hexapod is to use cheaper servos for these joints. In coxa servos, the direction of the load is mostly orthogonal to the direction of movement. So my best guess on what went wrong is that because I'm using a single connection to the coxa servos, there was too much torque in the wrong direction, and over time, it caused some wear to the ball bearings and the gears in the servo. My solution is to add an additional support from the top and hope that it will be enough to stop the vibration. Now let's get to work. I printed a new chassis, which is the main part that holds everything together. This one has extra holes and some new changes to increase the range of movement for the middle legs. I also printed a new coxa. I also printed this small piece that attaches to the frame and holds the coxa from the top. After installing all the new parts, as you can see the vibration is completely gone. But to be honest, I think the damage is already done and sooner or later I will have to change these servos. But it is good for now, and hopefully these changes will protect the next servos. That's it for now, thank you for watching.